Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Fred and today we're going to be going over what I consider to be the only Adobe After Effects expression you should care about. Now, if you're not familiar with the expression system, you'll see there's plenty of stuff we can do, but today we're going to be focusing on the wiggle expression. The only thing you'll need to remember is that wherever you're applying a wiggle, the first digits represent the frequency and the second digits represent the intensity. Now let's look at a few ways we can apply the wiggle effect on a text layer. So the first thing I like to do is to add a blur effect to my text. Then what you'll want to do is uh, to hold out on your keyboard and to click on the little stopwatch next to the setting you're trying to apply the expression on. Once you see this little box, you can go ahead and type in wiggle, open the first bracket. And as I mentioned before, the first digit is going to be the frequency and the second one, uh, the intensity. So I'm going to go with 22 frequency for intensity, uh, which is going to give you a pretty intense effect. Of course, you can play around with the values, um, but also make sure that your base value is greater than zero, uh, specifically for the blur and also uh, disable the repeat edge pixels. As you can see, once we hit play, the text is basically going in and out of focus super quickly, and I think it looks super cool. Now, obviously it doesn't stop there. There's plenty ways we can use a wiggle expression, and this next one is going to be how to flicker your text using a exposure effect. So uh, make sure you select your text layer, go into color correction, add the exposure effect, Hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the little stopwatch next to the exposure setting. Now you'll see the little box pop up. We can type in wiggle and uh, we're going to use uh, some different values for this one. So I'm going to go with 22 frequency and then something like 0.4 for the intensity. As you can see, when you pair the exposure effect with the wiggle expression, you get a really nice flicker. I use this exact same technique whenever I'm doing titles and what I also like to do is to add a tiny bit of glow on top of everything just to get a more pronounced effect. As you can see by using the wiggle expression we went from a plain white text to this really dynamic and grungy looking title. Now we're not limited to text layers only, I love to apply the same exact flicker effect on backgrounds like this one, uh, so just repeat the exact same procedure, create an adjustment layer, uh, add the exposure effect, type in the wiggle, we can use the exact same settings, which is 0.4 intensity and 22 frequency. Now make sure um, you are using a proper coma between the different values, uh, if you're using a period it's not going to work. I like to use this flicker effect on entire background layers when I'm trying to emulate some sort of CRT flicker. To do that, what you need to do is to mask out the top section of your adjustment layer. No need to be super precise, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure you go into the mask settings and add a bit of feather to smooth out the edges. Then what you'll want to do is duplicate the adjustment layer, click on invert mask and bam, you've got the CRT flicker effect. If you think it stops here, you're totally wrong because the most popular way people use the wiggle expression is to add movement to static shots and static titles, and that's exactly what I'm about to show you guys. First, you'll need to hit P on your keyboard, right click the position setting and click on separate dimensions. Then you'll want to hold out on your keyboard, go to the Y position and click on the little stopwatch. We can go ahead and type in the wiggle expression, but this time around the values are going to be a bit different because we want the effect to be more subtle. So let's do 10 frequency and 3 intensity. Just like that, we have a slow vertical shake effect on the title and it really just makes it look a lot more dynamic. You can also use the wiggle expression to create camera shake on a static tripod shot. If you want to do that, just hit P on your keyboard and half click the uh, position stopwatch. No need to separate dimensions since we want the wiggle effect to be applied on both the X and Y axis. As far as frequency goes, I like to go with 1 and for intensity I always do 10. Now as you can see, we're having some issues with the edges of the video layer and to fix that, we're just going to have to add a CC reptile effect to essentially extend the edges of the video. Just go ahead and increase the values until the entire frame is covered. Make sure you set the tiling mode to unfold and once that's all done, uh, you should see your static shot uh, with camera shake now added onto it. 
As you can see, there are plenty of creative ways to use the wiggled expression inside of After Effects, and to be honest, this is just the tip of the iceberg, so if you'd like more videos on expressions, make sure to comment it down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy editing, everyone!